I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Day of Silence is a national student-led demonstration where LGBTQ plus students and allies all around the country take a vow of silence. This vow of silence is to protest the harmful effects of harassment and discrimination of LGBTQ plus people in schools. Started in the mid-90s by two college students, the Day of Silence has expanded to reach hundreds of thousands of students each year in the U.S. and abroad. Every spring, students go through a school day without speaking, ending the day with Breaking the Silence events. At the Breaking the Silence events, students share their experiences during the protest and bring attention to ways their school and communities can become more inclusive. SAGE invites you to take a stand against discrimination and oppression by participating in the MHS Day of Silence this Friday, May 12th. Can't be silenced? That's okay. Speaking participants are important too. So this Friday, look for volunteers passing out buttons and cards at each main entrance for both speaking and non-speaking participants. Standing up against hate and oppression isn't easy, but there's strength in community. And know that the staff of MHS will always stand with you. I'll always stand with you. Hi, my name is Isaiah Chang. I'm leadership for the Club Sage. And I'm Hannah Maklai, also a member of Club Sage. So what is Breaking the Silence? Breaking the Silence is an event that will be held in the Black Box during ASR2, May 12th on Friday, um, where Sage has invited guest speaker T.S. Banks as well as Hip Hop Evolution, both of which will be performing. To sign up for this event, you can go into FlexiSketch and just go to the club section where Sage will be. Yes, and you may be asking yourself, well, what is Breaking the Silence? Breaking the Silence is an event that is usually held by a school to bring students together who were participating in the Day of Silence to take place in various types of things. It really depends on the school. Our school will be holding a Breaking the Silence event in the Black Box in ASR2, which Hannah talked about. Um, where we will have guest speakers and myself will be talking about various subjects all related to LGBTQ plus community struggles. Um, it is important to break the silence as a community because if we're standing for this collective issue together, we need to break the silence as a collective as well. Alrighty, that's all from us. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Good morning, it's May 9th, 2023, and welcome to the Cardinal Catch-Up, your monthly overview of the articles published in the Cardinal Chronicle, our student newspaper. MHS Theatre presented a stunning rendition of Into the Woods late last month. The Cardinal Chronicle covered the magic of the show from behind the scenes, on stage, and in the audience. In the Arts and Entertainment article, MHS Theatre brings us out of reality and into the woods. We also took an exclusive look at the costume design process in the photo story, Designing Costumes for Into the Woods. More was happening at MHS in April than the musical, including some crackling in the bell system. The Cardinal Chronicle explained the reason for this disturbance in an April news article alongside other stories and news and features. Check out an article spotlight on the AP Psychology Project Breaking Social Norms. Last month, Lelena Rotsimia contributed a troubling op-ed on the effects of TikTok on young women titled, TikTok and the Death of the Teenage Girl, detailing the harmful content targeted at young female users and its heartbreaking effects. Rotsimia writes, Young girls are being told how they should eat, what they should look like, and how they should strive to live before they are old enough to even understand who they are and what that means. Read more under the opinion under opinion on the Cardinal Chronicle website. As always, the Cardinal Chronicle is back with New Music Monthly, Poppy Weddings coverage of this month's indie releases and performances. This month, learn more about Alex Page's performance in Madison, Muna's new single, and Kevin Atwater's first EP, Downers Grove. There's more where this came from. Check out your classmates reporting at mhscardinalchronicle.com. Good morning, Cards! Hope you're having a nice Tuesday. I'm Vera. And I'm Isa. Let's, Let's begin, begin your, your daily, daily announcements. announcements. It's Staff Appreciation Week. Each day, we'll be shining some light on all of the wonderful departments at MHS. Today, we're showing appreciation for the campus support team who build positive relationships and keep the halls safe. And also, health services. 
Thank you for keeping the school healthy and cared for. Working Wednesday is coming up tomorrow and we'll have Middleton Outdoor Aquatic Center here. Stop by the launch pad during lunch and advisory time to hear about their employment opportunities. Congratulations to MHS senior John Bidata, who was recently awarded the Governor's Financial Literacy Award. This award goes to individuals who help improve financial literacy of Wisconsin residents. John V. created her own program, Know Your Dollar, which provides free financial education to middle schoolers, especially those in underserved areas. The program has partnered with many youth organizations in the Madison area and has had a great impact in making financial literacy resonate with the community's youth. Congratulations to John V. Are you interested in competing against other grades and staff to be crowned the dodgeball champions of MHS? Minds Matter is raising money for Mental Health America through a dodgeball tournament. It goes down on May 25th during ASR 2. If you would like to be one of the lucky players to compete, use the QR code on the screen to sign up. Didn't finish your pet furniture? Having a tough time sleeping? We've got your solution. By popular demand, Ms. Berman will be back in the makerspace next Friday, May 19th. She will demonstrate how to make pillowcases and help you finish your pet furniture. Come join us during ASR 1 and 2 in the makerspace on May 19th. But the fun doesn't stop there in the makerspace. Please join us as we welcome our very own science teacher, Ms. Williams. She will be demonstrating knitting techniques. If you are looking for a creative way to de-stress before the end of the year, join us on May 26th during lunch and advisory in the makerspace. They will have all the materials you need. So come learn to knit. All right, have a good rest of your week, cards. Bye.